Hello everyone, welcome again. In this software testing tutorial, we are going to learn what is black box testing. Now, as the name suggests the black box, so usually in computing or engineering, the black box term came from, you know, when you don't have any knowledge of internal workings of anything, and you are just verifying the output based on the input. That's what a black box usually in engineering or computing means. Now, when we correlate that with the testing, it's basically the same thing in terms of software testing. So usually what happens if I, if I draw the diagram, so usually in the black box, what happens is you provide the input. You don't know what exactly this is a black box for you, okay? So as an end user, if I'm a tester, or a person testing that's that particular you know software i'll just provide the input and then i'll verify the output okay and if output is what is expected then i'll say the test has passed right so usually this is what the uh, you know key thing to remember about the black box is that you don't know what exactly is the implementation within this particular box as a tester, you're just verifying the output based on different set of inputs that you will provide. All right. And this type of testing is known as black box testing and functional testing is one of it. All right. So in functional testing, you, you have, you know, uh, usually it is the black box for the software tester. So let me take same example that we took in the previous tutorial. So functional test of this gmail create account feature right so in the create account feature what we did uh, if you are testing the create account usually you will follow certain steps which will be your test case so here there are a couple of tests that i have written so i launch the application if i'm testing that particular application i launch that application you know in some browser right so in browser and browser could be, you know, like Chrome, Firefox. So that will be specific in the test cases when you detail this out in your test case, right? This is just to explain you the steps. So that is why I have not written, written all the details in this particular uh, scenario. So first step will be to launch gmail.com in the browser. If the launch is being successful, then I will say output is passed, right? So in here, input, the step one input is basically launching Gmail in the browser. This is my input, right? So these are the uh, actions that I'll do. Now, when I open the browser, okay, and I type in gmail.com, and after typing in gmail.com, I hit enter, right? Or hit go, then it opens the gmail.com. As, as a software tester or person launching this application, I don't know what all happens behind the scene before I see gmail.com page on my browser, right? So that is a black box for me. All the functionality that has happened after I provided gmail.com in the URL or, um, and then hit enter. Then after that, I don't know what has happened, what application implementation is there, what software has been written to basically you know, fetch the data and show the gmail.com page to me, right? So that is black box for me. And that is why this is the black box testing or how the black box testing will work. Second input for me in the same test case is the black box testing. So create, click on create account. So once I click on create account links, for example, then I am not sure what implementation has been done once a user clicks on create account, right? So I don't know what coding is there within this particular box. As an end user, I don't have any idea about it, it and I'm not concerned about the internal coding, how the methods are written, how the classes are written, how the internal code is being called. When I click on create account, what all happens inside, I'm just worried about or I'm just concerned about when I click on create account, you know, link, I should be displayed or basically I'll click on, I'll draw here. So output should be, uh, you know, create account page, right? So which will have uh, provide your first name, last name. So I'll say first name, last name. Uh, I'll provide which email. So I have to search the email 
and then uh, provide the password and then click on register all right so i need to verify these details but internally when i click on create account how everything worked or how the code has run internally as a manual tester as a you know black box tester or black box testing i'm not concerned about any of those internal working details right so this is how the black box testing will happen and what uh, or what black box testing is so each step in your test case is is basically the input and whatever expected result of your test case is is the output in terms of black box testing in the third case i'll provide the input user details right and then click on sign up button so once user details have been provided here that becomes the input and a user clicks on you know sign up or register button and then he should be redirected to the this is the black box in this case and he should be redirected to the actual gmail account right so any step that we perform without the knowledge of the internal working of the software uh, is known as black box testing right so this is what black box testing is and i have covered how a particular test case can be easily correlated or what exactly you do in the black box testing you do not worry about the internal code internal structure what classes are there how the calls how the method and calls are being made that is not your concern in black box testing right so that's all for this tutorial about black box testing i'll cover the details about the white box testing in upcoming tutorial thank you very much for watching